How's it y'all? Got the Bulldog on the channel. Uh, we got a trailer in here. He come in for getting the bearings repacked and trying to walk out the light here. Yeah, that don't work. Okay. Uh, it come in to get the bearings repacked on it. He was wondering about making the brakes work and Here's what we're looking at. That's where it looks the best. But uh, we're going to repack the wheel bearings and we're going to give them the option of rewiring the trailer. It is an absolute mess. There are side splices and tape everywhere. Uh, it's, it's going to need every wire on it. And it's a big trailer. It's got lots of clearance lights. So, yeah, it's going to be a high dollar. And it, they're, the, whoever wired it before trying to run a double axle electric brake system on a 12 or 14 gauge wire. That's like, I don't know, pulling a four ton load with an S10. I'd never do that, but I didn't wire this trailer. We need to check these brakes, and nothing's working. So, I'll show you what I'm doing. Check them. See the wheel spinning here. Now, I've got these jumper cables hooked onto a battery. Let's lay them up around the deck. Here's a positive wire of the magnet. I'm going to hook her onto these jumper cables here. Now, see that? Now we don't have a very good ground. We don't have a whole lot of power because I'm testing with a core battery. Uh, it's half dead. It's grounding through a bolt stacked with crimp connectors, all kinds of stuff. But we're able to confirm and I've already checked all everything else to make sure that all the magnets work, all the uh, electric brake system is, is a magnet inside of the brake drum. And when you put electric power through the magnet, it, it's, it's, it's sitting there in one spot and the drum's rotating. When you put electric power to this magnet, it's an electromagnet, it magnetizes itself to the brake drum. And the more voltage you put towards that magnet, the, more, the harder it tries to hold onto that brake drum. Well, this magnet is attached to an arm that rotates, so when the magnet hits it, it tries to go with the rotation, and when it does that, it has a cam up top that rotates and applies the brakes. It's Really pretty simple, and that's how the brake controller works in the vehicle. Is the more gain you turn up means the more voltage that the brakes get. The more voltage the brakes get, the more power the magnet has. The more power the magnet has, the harder it tries to hold on to the brake drum. So the more it tries to twist the arm, the harder it applies the brakes. Uh, but we wanted to make sure that we didn't have to go back into these drums on the back of this. We're going to repack the wheel bearings and then give them the option of the rewire. Nothing works at all. So I don't know how many lights are out, but we're not getting power to anything, I'm betting. And it is a mess up front. I mean... 
I did better than that when I was a kid, rewiring stuff on a farm. But, oh well, yeah, we'll, we'll do it right. Of course, that usually is more expensive. If you want somebody else to do it, that's fine. So, anyway, I wanted to give you a little lesson on electric brakes here and show you a, kind of a ding 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 way to check them. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the little bell notification, share it around. We'll talk to you later.